I love my house. This month I'm doing a spiritual practice where what I do is when I love something, I really love it. I deepen in love to it. I just savor that love. I commend it to you as a spiritual practice. It's a little different from gratitude, but it leads to a lot more gratitude because when you love something, you do feel grateful for it. And when you really love something, you really feel grateful for it. So this month I've been noticing what I love and it's really interesting to me how many things about my house I love. I love looking out the window. I just love looking at the birds and the squirrels and the snow at this point. It makes me so happy. I see my garden, you know, it's all tucked in for the winter. And I love that because for one thing, there's no work to be done out there. And I love that, though I'll start missing it in a few months. But I love my kitchen counters and cabinets. I've never had counters and cabinets that I loved before, but I do. I love the way the wood floors look. It seems so simple, but loving what we love, I think, is one way to build a gratitude practice. I should say that it hasn't always been so for me. Though I obviously loved this house enough to buy it, after I moved here, all I could see was everything about it that I couldn't stand. I felt like I'd made a mistake. The people who sold it to us lied about some stuff and I was really angry about that and that anger fed into my feelings about the house. Instead of noticing what I loved, I noticed what bugged me. That's what I'd focus on. That's what would come into my mind and what I'd put out into the house is annoyance. I started to figure out that I didn't want to live in that energy of annoyance and tried to figure out what to do about it. I tried a number of things. I, I bought a book about improving your relationship with your home. And it started by saying you should write a love letter to your house. And at that time, I thought, who wants to write a love letter to this house? Not me. Today, actually, I could write a love letter to my house, though I haven't. Maybe I'll do that. And then I had a house healer come. A friend of mine told me that she also had had an uncomfortable relationship with her house and that this guy heals houses. So he came and he told me some basics that actually changed how I felt about the house and changed the energy. He said, look at what you keep right in the middle of the house and make sure it's what you value. And I looked at right in the middle of my house, I had this little bookshelf and it just had things like screwdrivers thrown on it and tape and mail and just kind of whatever got thrown onto it. And so at that point, I took everything off of it except for things that I thought were beautiful or, you know, I put my chalice there. I put the things that are in the center of my heart, some rocks from my trip to Iceland. And then in the bookshelf that's in the middle of the house, I decided to take out all the random books that were there and put in just poetry, gardening books and cookbooks, all things that I love. And now in the center of the house, I feel that the energy of what I love is right there. And that did help, if only to pay that kind of attention and to think about my home in that way. I also realized that I love fires in the fireplace, but a lot of years I never had them because I wasn't sure if there was a squirrel's nest in the fireplace or something. So this year I am gonna have fires in that fireplace. I brought all the wood over from the snowy side of the yard so I can easily access it now. A lot of years I never quite do that and then I don't wanna wade out and dig around and try to find it. So this year I am prepared to love fires in the fireplace. Whatever you love, I encourage you to make sure it's in your home because that center moves out into the world and that center is what fills us with joy and gratitude. This Thanksgiving, if you're in the US, may you be steeped in gratitude for what you love. Look around that table, even if all you love is the pickle dish, center yourself in that love and refuse to budge. And for those of you from other parts of the world where this is not the week of the holiday called Thanksgiving, may every day be a day full of giving thanks, full of loving what you love.